Hi everyone, this is Jenny Streeby with Confessions of a Hairstylist, and I'm so excited because I have Gwen here. She's with Crew and Lou. She is a child's lifestyle blogger, and you girls have to check her out. The link is gonna be below. And so on this YouTube channel, what I thought it'd be really cool to do is show you guys how to get that really popular side Dutch mermaid braid. And then I'm gonna show you a different variation of how to finish it off as well into a really nice side updo. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, to start this look off, what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and brush the hair completely out. And the reason for that is because we, it's really gonna help set you up for success because you're gonna be able to take really nice, clean sections. So all we're gonna do is brush it to the side that we're going to start our side Dutch braid on. And now all we're gonna do is create a almost a triangle section at the hairline. And now we're gonna go ahead and split that section into three sections. Okay, so you can see I have three sections. So Dutch braids are when you work the hair un underhanded. So what we're gonna do is take our right section, go under into the middle. Now take our left section and go under into the middle. So that is our new middle. Now we wanna start incorporating hair. So I'm actually going to put all the hair to my left um, hand, take my pinky finger, grab a little bit of hair at the hairline, incorporate it to our right section, and now I'm going under into the middle. Now I'm gonna take my pointer finger, and from the other side of her hairline, I'm gonna take a section of hair all the way to our braid on this side. Now I'm gonna incorporate that piece of hair with our left section and go under into the middle. We're just gonna keep on continuing that same technique. So taking a little bit of hair, incorporating that to our right section, going underneath, working the hair from the hairline all the way back to this section, incorporating that hair into our left section and going under into the middle. Okay, now that I've gotten close to the ear, what I wanna go ahead and do is I'm gonna start pancaking the braid out. So all I'm gonna do is work right to left and you're simply just pulling the hair out. You can see how that really made our braid really dramatic. So now we're just gonna continue to work the same technique all the way down to about the nape of her neck. Now that I've reached the nape of her neck, I'm just gonna continue to do an underhanded, regular three-stranded braid, and when I get to the ends, I'm just gonna go ahead and secure it with an elastic. Now that I've secured the ends with an elastic, all I'm gonna go through is pancake it one more time to really help plump it up. Now you could be as aggressive or non-aggressive to this technique if you'd like. I like to see really big full braids, so that's why I'm gonna get aggressive in this case. All right, so there you ladies have it, a really gorgeous side mermaid Dutch braid. And I'm gonna show you a different way how to style it as well. So all I'm gonna take is the ends of the hair and I'm simply just going to almost create a nice bun and I'm simply just gonna bobby pin it into place. All right, so there you guys have it. Two variations of how to rock a side mermaid Dutch braid. This is a really gorgeous up style this way. I really hope you ladies enjoyed it. And feel free to check out Gwen here with Crew and Lou. I'm gonna put her link below and subscribe to my channel for weekly hair tutorials.